since we uh, last night we all got the news that for 21 days we won't fish so we quickly shot through to Tugela North Bank uh, to make it count get you guys some footage on what we're going to do here so to be safe I did bring the drone I'm going to put one drone bait just behind the back bank and look for a reggie or a zambi uh, or whatever else is feeding there and then we'll fish in front here maybe have some throw baits for reggies as it gets a bit later and also target maybe some cob so uh, stick around I brought I didn't bring a cob rod but uh, I'm really starting to enjoy the tournament as a, a very versatile rod because it's so sensitive I've been doing quite a bit of edible fishing with it so I'll double up on that so I only brought the dog fights uh, get right for, for, for the occasion to, uh, to make sure so yeah this is not a casting reel this is the LD60 for droning and for swimming baits so if we get a diamond we can swim it and uh, we can also drop a bait quickly for, for a reggie now the reggies or whatever bait swims out there the reggies the water is really nicely colored so they might come in now already but uh, normally what we find in daytime they're a bit further so if you want to get them early in the day already uh, it's much easier obviously it's a in some guys opinion maybe a bit of cheating getting your bait out that far so quickly to target those fish but yeah we're here to catch some fish we don't have much time we're gonna have 21 days without fishing hey guys now what I've got on here is I've got 65 pound backing then 65 pound multicolor J braid on top and then 0.75 Maxima Ultra Green. I've got a hundred meters on top. So all together, just over a thousand meters. I think it's a thousand one hundred meters. And then I've got a tapered leader up to a 2.2 mil um, leader on you. And that's specific, specifically for swimming and for droning bigger baits. Pound. I've got the mustard, this is a 14 0 still got on you. And I'm just going to stick a nice big shad head I've still got on this and get it out there and see what eats it. And on that, I'm just going to stick a 10 ounce sink. And I don't want to take it too far, I just want to take it over that back bank. So I'm not going to even cable tie my sinker. I'm just going to stick one of my old 10 ounces on there and leave it just like that. Obviously could uh, get a nice diamond out there, a nice sandy, who knows. Alright, simple as that. Let me just stick the head on there, I just want to get some water. Okay, fair size shirt head on you. Together once again, lovely water, lovely conditions, flat sea as usual. I've got a, a fellow angler all the way from East London, my hometown, old Joel over there. He's come all the way up to come and fish with us, and his target species is going to be a brown skate, which he's never caught in East London, a giant guitar fish, not a lesser, and he wants to catch a honeycomb and a diamond. So, somewhere along the line, he'll catch one of those species today. I'm rigging up my multiplying rod. I'm going to slide one of these uh, lovely bonnies that we got. But yeah, let's see what we can do quickly. Rushing as usual. Let's get the lines in the water. So what I'm using today is my Saltiga 50. 
I got giant abrasion uh, kingfisher line on, uh, 16 kilo, and I got my saltest uh, rod, my nine ounce, and I'm gonna put a slide on and see what I can catch with it. It's two hours before high tide, so I'm gonna see if there's not a sand shark just lurking over that sand bank over there, and maybe a honeycomb. And then when it gets dark later on this evening on the spring tide. Uh, hopefully we catch a diamond or two. It's making a bummy twist quickly. Now what I'm basically doing here is instead of using a mono leader that makes a big knot and goes through your eyes and uh, slows everything down, I'm using a 150-200 pound uh, braid and how we join it is pretty much with a figure of eight, just like we did with nylon. So once, twice with the mono, make a figure of eight. Open it up. Let those uh, taggings sit nicely, as you can see they're sitting. This, we're just gonna do a couple more times. One, two, three, four, five times. And again, all we're doing is just making a figure of eight. And we're just allowing those little um, figures of eight to seat nice and neatly as we're pulling it. So we'll open it up, make sure it sits properly. Here we go. As long as they roll over, we create a small knot, I'll be very happy. There we go. Slide it down. it'll go through your eyes nice and neatly. I'm going to put my braid on the reel. Knock yourself out. takes for him to get a brown skate bite or a honeycomb or a sandy you never know so what I've done is I've got a bimini twist attached to 200 pound braid I'm now putting on a 200 uh, pound wire leader onto my slide as you can see I've got a little bit of heat shrink over there on it um, it's about 1.3 meters one one and a half meters in length now we actually attach it just to make a little bit of a kink in the wire. We take our braid, go through it, and we just work around it. One, two, three, four, five, six times. We go out the opposite side to what I've just come in. Okay, so that's basically it. Pull tight. Slide it down, put it back, and pull tight. Okay, let's have a look here. Here's our guy we're gonna have a throw. Nothing wrong. Okay. So that's basically all I've done. Cut the tag end off. Now what we do with this little bit of wire that's left over, and this is a little secret, don't cut it off. We actually just bend it up a little bit at a bit of an angle. There you go. Cut that. And we leave out that much of the tag end. 
as you can see there. What happens is as the non-return comes down, let's actually put it on and do it quickly for you. I'll show you now. Okay. So what happens is as the non-return comes down your line, it gets to that part of the actual wire. It will slide over it, but it doesn't go back. Okay, very important that it doesn't go back. I'll show you again. Just pull it over. It's going to slide down. It gets to where that wire is. It slides over the wire, but it doesn't go back. Okay, very important. Just a little trick that you can use to keep your your bite trace a lot longer, especially when you're fishing for raggies and big sharks. I've got two 13.0 J hooks on here, and again, 200 pound carbon coated wire. My standard slide is about one meter, 1.1 meters in length, with a sinker that I add myself just to give it a bit more weight for the bigger baits. And that's pretty much what we're fishing with. It's quick and easy as that. Guys, I'm going to go for a cobby first, and maybe something else could pick it up in the. But there's, oh, there's been some cobbies around. I'm going to look for a nice little cobby because that head will make such a good bait when it gets dark. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of sardine, nice sardine on the back and wrap it with some beaten chocker. That's it. Okay, now it's just a weight. I just had a shad bite, which I missed. Um, there we go. Something else eating. Pickers. Probably shad. Now, like today is the perfect day. Everything is 100%. It looks right. It's just a matter of getting a bite or getting the bite, the expected bite. But. That's the thing, we can't predict what's going to happen. It's got slow. Yeah, they're chomping me. That's shit. It's not what I have in mind. <laughs> Probably switch to a mackerel head just now. The hook there is designed to go onto the ring so that you throw it like that. The reason being is if you throw it too hard you could part the nylon off and then you throw your sinker away and it also just makes for harder throwing, a little bit more aerodynamic in the air but there's the entire length of the wire. As you can see there's that little thing that I told you about that stops the non-return. It goes all the way down to about that length and of course when it comes loose it's going to be sitting in the sand and as you shake it just goes deeper and deeper and deeper into the sand okay now for rigging the bait up like i said 230 nodes a lovely sort of one here. i need to get uh, cable tie. Okay. A little bit of cotton. All we're going to do here is take it and just cut the back off slightly. 
just to allow a little bit of smell out and also to stop it from spinning in the water with that tail part. Again, feed the crabs. There's lots here. Okay. The first hook, I'm just going to measure out where it goes. It's going to go in that hard part and come out just beneath that little V there. So again, what we're going to do is go in over there, twist, come out just between that over there, pull it down. This is going to come out just above the eye. So we're going to go in through the bottom lip and up through the top, pull that down, and I'm just going to cable tie that closed. Don't need a big cable tie for this. So basically that's how it's going to sit in our bait. Like that there. Slip that off. And there's my bait. Ready for sliding. I'm going to put a little bit of cotton around it. Just to keep the hook in place. And that's it. Nothing more. Control. Anyway, put another big bait and see how long it takes for them to finish that one off. one mackerel bait. Unfortunately this bank in front of us is a bit deep to wade. So I'm actually contemplating while it's still light to maybe go drop this one bait. Take it over. We'll see if I cast. Maybe there's a diamond on the bank here. So I don't think we'll clear that second bank. There's two banks here. got one fish to stick and it's not a very big fish I don't know if it's a diamond I think it's a diamond it's otherwise it doesn't know it's hooked <laughs> let's hope it doesn't know it's hooked but yeah I think it's a little diamond Just be 
be a baby reggae. Let's hope it's a reggae. Shaking like it would be. Once again, we've got a lovely little diamond here. The tide's starting to turn, so the fish should turn on now. Yeah. And uh, my second Corona one for the, the evening. After 21 days, these things are going to look so lovely. Yeah, I'm going to be holding my, my trusty dog butt, and I'm going to go pop it in the water here and let it swim off. And fireworks, but at least uh, Ray got into the action with the diamonds there, as well as Joel got one now. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna call it. it. Started to rain now, lightning everywhere. You don't feel comfortable <laughs> with the graphite rods. So it's now about almost 12 o'clock, past 11 in the evening, and we started. Uh, we got to at three. So. Only the three diamonds, a lot of crickets. I went through 12 mackerel and I don't know how many red eyes and other bait. This one came back with at least a head net. But that's me and thank you for joining us. Please remember to like the video, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and push that notification drop down to choose what type of no notifications you want. That really helps us guys. Thanks man. Mm -hmm.